morning, welcome to moving vlogs day two. I woke up in my new apartment this morning, which is somewhat weird, but also right. And I'm coming at you live with puffy eyes because I had a slight meltdown last night, but I'm okay now. I just needed to get it out. The nighttime really brings some emotional vibes out of me and I was just feeling very nostalgic. I was really overwhelmed with so many emotions from moving in, um, but now I'm doing great. I love this mattress. If you're looking for a good mattress, definitely check out Casper. I slept very well, it was so comfortable. A few minutes ago, I unboxed my coffee machine. Hello? Oh my gosh. This is my first time ever having a coffee machine. I've never had one before, I've never had one at home. This, to me, having your own coffee machine is the epitome of adulthood. I don't know why, but to me, this is what that symbolizes. She's stunning. The grand reveal. I believe this is the Nespresso Virtuo something-o. It is so, so beautiful. It also came with a milk frother, which is very nice. I have never had a coffee machine. I am stoked beyond the moon. I feel like this is the perfect spot for it. The lighting is so good. It's so nice. It's also just like a nice little corner in the kitchen to have all of my coffee things in. I have a coffee machine. I am officially a woman. I have a coffee, I have a coffee machine. machine. I have nothing to make coffee with. I have an espresso pod, but I don't have milk or anything. So hopefully I can pick that up today. There's honestly so much on the to-do list. Anyway, just thought I'd show you. I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. I will let you know how I like it. I have no idea how to work it. I just have no idea, which is amazing. Lots of coffee morning montages to come right in this little spot. <laughs> there is so much that needs to be done today, but I am very excited. I'm just excited to start getting everything together. It just feels like this is not my home yet, which is fine. It feels like I'm in a hotel with all my stuff in it, which is like weird, but there's just a lot to be done. I still have yet to make a solid plan for the day, but I did organize some of my skincare. I love how it has this over the toilet organization that is so, so helpful and nice. I also put some stuff in these drawers. None of it's organized because I don't have any organizers yet, but I'm just glad everything is out of the boxes. I think that's kind of what I want to focus most on today is unboxing things, unpacking them because when everything is in boxes, your life just feels very off. Here's my beautiful living room right now in its finest hour. I think I mostly wanna focus on unboxing the kitchen stuff because obviously I need to eat a lot of times a day and when nothing is ready, it just makes it a little bit hard to do that. I think if I can get somewhat settled into this kitchen today, I will be very happy. It's not gonna be organized. I just wanna have everything out of the box so I can use it. Which brings me to another problem. I have literally no food at all. Starting over with spices, snacks, things you don't really realize you need because I've talked about this so many times before, but if you're new here, I will just say it again. My mom spoiled me with her amazing cooking and I would help here and there, but she really carried the team with the cooking in our house. So I have no idea what I'm gonna need on a grocery run. Maybe I'll bring my mom with me for that because she would know. I just feel like I'm gonna have to go up and down every single aisle and literally get everything. I don't think so. I somehow don't think that's gonna work out. I am going home today because there's still some things in my room that I need to bring here. So we will be going home today. I really wanna hold myself accountable with getting the kitchen a little bit together. So here is the before. I'm manifesting that I get this done today. You know what? I'm not doing anything right now. I'm gonna start now. Hi, I need help. What now? <laughs> I'm about to put on the dishwasher, which I've never done. Which which one of these do I put? And then you press just start. And wow, I did it, thank you. I think this is the appliance I'm most excited for next to the coffee machine, and that is my own toaster. Obviously, I'm a carb kind of girl. I love bread. A toaster is necessary. 
very excited. The grand reveal. I'm sorry, excuse me? This is the cutest little toaster I've ever seen. It's a Smeg toaster. It's got two nice toasty spots. I am so stoked to make bread in here. I have one other Smeg item that I am waiting for, but I think it's back ordered right now, but this is literally just what I need. I'm so excited to get some fresh bread, make some nice toast in the morning. I am so ready for that. How cute is that? It's funny because as I grow up, I don't think I would have ever been excited about this a few years ago, but this to me brings so much joy. It is actually unreal. I have officially created the biggest mess ever, but I'm going to clean everything up, put everything away, wash some things. Everything is out of the box, which I'm very excited about. I will see you in a sec. And here she is. I have cleaned up so much. The boxes are broken down. I took out the trash. It's obviously still not organized, but it's looking so much better. I'm so happy that everything is out of the boxes. It makes me just feel like I can finally breathe. I still need to obviously organize everything, I think that'll be another vlog, but I am so excited to finally have some things in here. I have a dishwasher, like I said, going right now. Also, my little smeg kettle was here and I didn't even realize it because it was hidden in one of the boxes, but this is the matching little tea kettle for this and it is so cute. I'm so, so, so obsessed. I love how it adds kind of a vintage vibe. Since cleaning up, I have gotten ready. I am ready to take on the day, whatever that brings. I still don't really have too much of an idea of what I'm doing yet today. I kind of have a rough outline of things I want to accomplish, but there's just so many things. We'll see what gets done. But first and foremost, we are gonna eat because I'm starving. We don't have any breakfast food here. So let's go get some food. Yummy. <laughs> hi, Kuda Beer. Ooh, ooh. Hi, Hello room, it's been 24 hours too long. I missed you. <laughs> there are some things that I left here that I want to bring to my apartment, so I'm gonna pack those up. My car is once again packed to the little brim. We also packed my mom's car. I thought I brought so much with me yesterday, but apparently not. There's still a lot of stuff to bring. So we are gonna do another round of unpacking. We're gonna take our two cars, make a trip down to the apartment and do a whole other unloading session. I just made it back to my apartment, which still does not feel real to say. I will update you on if it ever does or when it starts to feel real when I say that. But for now, it just still feels crazy to say. I believe I saw some carts over here. <gasps> yes, perfect. I'm definitely gonna need this because I have so much stuff for my car to pick up. I don't know if I should take two. I'm just gonna take one for now. That is all I can fit. Amazing. First trip up is done. I have about 20 more to go. <laughs> My mom gave me a little goodie bag of things she put together. I will do a haul shortly. More clothes. I actually picked up my first package today, which was very exciting. My first package to ever get delivered to this apartment. I will show you guys what it is later, but I just don't feel like unboxing it right now. <gasps> it's the fact that I totally disregarded the fact that this says glass handle with care. <laughs> Amazing, okay. I'll we'll worry about that later. And I got my little, what is this called? Picnic basket? No, uh, lunchbox, lunchbox. I completely forgot that at home I had some oat milk bleeding for me. So I think tomorrow I can officially make my first ever coffee, which I'm so, so stoked about. My mom packed me some juices because she's the best. My mini bottle of champagne that I got for my birthday from the masseuse who massaged me and some pasta, I think for dinner. I'm gonna do a quick haul of what my mom picked up for me, which is literally so sweet. Um, I don't know if she wants these back, so I'm just gonna put these in the freezer. She picked up this hanging clothing rack thing because I'm gonna need to hang things, so this can go on like a shower 
What? What happened to this? We've got some Tito's for my dirty Shirley's. Some grenadine, which is what you use to make Shirley temples. So I think I'm gonna make one tonight for sure. That is peak excitement. I'm so excited. We've got some stove top cleaner. Shout out to my mom for hooking it up. She gave me some Massacaccino cherries for my Shirley Temple and Sierra Mist, which is what I use for my Shirley Temples. So I'm all set to go for tonight. Speaking of kitchenware, I think my, it should be done by now, let's see. Moment of truth, did I do this right? <gasps> I think so, wow. My dishes are looking absolutely sparkly and spectacular. I'm so excited to put these away. I think I put them on the wrong setting because they are so wet. Maybe they just need to air dry for a little bit. The bowl's kind of caught some water. I mean, I can always dry it with a dish towel after, but that's fine. I kind of just wanted to get everything clean so I can start using it. How cute is this little dishwasher load? Everything's all matching, love it. I will do that later. I'm going to take this cart, do another run or two. My parents are on their way, so I'm gonna help them bring all the stuff because there's so much stuff packed in these cars, I swear. Hello, I am now with my mom. We just unloaded both cars, so everything is in the apartment. Literally everything that I need pretty much. There's like one or two things back at the house that I'm gonna bring, but nothing essential. Anyway, we are going to TJ Maxx. We have a few things that we didn't get at Target yesterday. We're about to go off. I love TJ Maxx. We love TJ Maxx. Well, you love it. I think I'm about to it's though. <laughs> I'm hoping to snag some deals here. Fingers crossed. This is actually the first time I'm in my apartment alone, which is insane. Obviously, I've only been here for two days, but yesterday Connor was with me, my parents were with me, and today Connor was with me in the morning and my parents were just here. So I have never been in this apartment alone yet, which is so weird. And it's really weird now that I'm alone. But I wanted to show you what I got from TJ Maxx. I got some really good stuff that I needed. Picked up some dish towels, which I really needed because I wanna start washing some stuff. So I got green and the blue. I got these resting wood plates. So when I have hot plates and I don't wanna put it on my counter, I can put it on there. I picked up this catch-all tray too because I figured it'd be good to have one in the kitchen so people including me, can put like their keys and stuff when they come. Instead of getting a drain board, I kind of want to keep my kitchen counter on the minimal side in terms of what's on it. So I got a drying mat instead, which actually works really, really nicely. You just put it out, put your things on it, and it kind of just air dries and you can dish towel dry it after. I got some tongs with the plastic tips, very adorable. And last but not least, I got a lime juicer, which I think I feel like you could use lemons for two. I have never been so tired. I am just exhausted. I want to take a 12 hour nap. There's still so much to do, but I think I'm going to call it a day. I want to watch Gossip Girl. I want to raid my pantry. My pantry that I am curating, it's going to be a great pantry. She's going to have the best glow up ever. I will show you what she looks like right now. So, it's got some stuff in it, but it definitely needs some work. Obviously, it's not organized at all, but I have a few snackies. I kind of want to try these right now. That sounds good. Yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, maybe I'll try a black and white cookie too. Got this from Whole Foods. I swear they only make black and white cookies in New York, but apparently they make them there. So I'm going to test this out. Here's the kitchen update. I have emptied the dishwasher. I just need to do some dishes later, but I'm very, very happy with the progress. I'm just so happy there's no more boxes and now I can start organizing. That will be a whole other day. I currently don't have any seating in this apartment other than my bed, but I don't want to eat on my bed. So we are sitting on the tile floor, which it's honestly not that bad. I'm excited to get my dining table. That should be coming kind of soon and I'll put that over here. I should talk about my plans for this apartment in another vlog. 
we can definitely do that because I want to tell you all my vision because I toured this apartment in December and since I've toured it I spent the last month envisioning how I was going to decorate this space and it is going to be so so good I'm very excited to make it come to life and create a home for myself but for now we sit on the tile we eat on the tile oh my gosh how cute is this it's like a little flower adorable you know when you're not hungry for a full meal yet but you're snacky and when the snack hits the spot oh my gosh i am currently watching gossip girl the og gossip girl if you have watched the new gossip girl and the old gossip girl please let me know your thoughts because i am such an og gossip girl fan that i feel like if i watch the new one and i don't like it you know i'm gonna think of it a little differently so i don't know if it's worth watching let me know if you think it is i just love the og version of things sometimes remakes get a little iffy but i've heard great things i've heard horrible things let me know your thoughts currently on season two I'm gonna be transported to New York. What I love about this apartment is that since I live in town now, there's sirens. And you know what? It's funny because I feel like most people would literally hate to hear sirens and it doesn't happen that often, but occasionally there's a siren and it just makes me feel like I'm in New York because every time I'm in New York, I always fall asleep to the sound of blaring sirens. It's oddly comforting. Mmm, that is so good. <gasps> I have bowls now. I should put this in a bowl. Okay, we are set and ready to go. I literally forgot that I have bowls and plates and stuff now. That is awesome. I'm also gonna taste test this black and white cookie. I don't know how high I should have my hopes for this. Mmm, mm -hmm. there's a bakery I like to go to on Long Island in New York that has the best black and whites ever, but this is hitting the spot. Maybe it's because I'm just so snacky and I like want it so bad. It's a little bit later now. It actually got so nice. The last few days have been so rainy. It has been just insane. It's been flooding, just so rainy, cloudy and dark, but the sun just came out and I can't believe I have a freaking balcony. When I was hunting for apartments, a balcony wasn't a deal breaker, but the fact that this has that is just so nice to have an outdoor space. I can't wait to have some little furniture out here, but look at the view right now. This is just so unreal and beautiful the mountains are absolutely stunning and it's just such a nice evening you can see the ocean over there which is just amazing i feel like i have this 360 view well 180 but i have mountains i have a little bit of the city and i have the ocean so i'm just so grateful that i have this outdoor space i'm definitely gonna be spending a lot of time out here but i just haven't really even set foot out here because it's wet from the rain i kind of want to build my Dyson vacuum. I got it from Best Buy. This is the Dyson Cyclone V10 Animal. It is insane how much hair is already on the floor. I've only been here 28 hours and my hair is everywhere. So I need to build this vacuum base up. Um, I believe it comes in parts. You're coming. You owe me. Oh, you. Wow. Yay. It is charging right now, but I'm so excited to do that. I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. And just like that, day two of the moving vlogs is down. I don't even know. What did I do today? Did I complete anything that was on my checklist? <laughs> I'm going to freak out if I did not cross a single thing. <laughs> Oof. I crossed off some. I'm not gonna worry about it. I have many days ahead of doing all the things I need to do. Tonight is my first night alone in the apartment. This has literally just been my first hour being alone and it is definitely an odd feeling. I'm not scared or nervous. It's just so weird to be in here because I'm so used to being in here with people but it's crazy because this is my place, just me. I'm excited to see how tonight goes. I'm hoping I don't get emotional because last night was slightly a mess, <laughs> but I'm gonna vlog it. So that will be my next video, my first night alone in my apartment. I will see you there and then I will see you everywhere else. You can follow my Instagram if you want in real time updates and just to see what's going on in the moment. So many moving vlogs to come. Love you.